Welcome to the Word of God Online, today's daily Bible study for February 5th, 2009. God did not need a hammer and nails is the title of our reading today. Scripture verse of the day is Romans 1.17. This good news tells us that God makes us ready for heaven, makes us right in God's sight. When we put on our faith and trust in Christ to save us, this is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scripture says it, the man who finds life will find it through trusting God. Scripture reading of the day is Romans 1, 5 through 20. And now, through Christ, all the kindness of God has been poured out upon us, undeserving sinners. And now he is sending us out around the world to tell all the people everywhere the great things God has done for them so that they too will believe and obey him and you dear friends in Rome are among those he dearly loves you too are invited by Jesus Christ to be God's very own yes his holy people may all God's mercies and peace be yours from God our Father and from Jesus Christ our Lord let me say first of all that let me say first of all that wherever I go I hear you being talked about for your faith in God is becoming known around the world how I thank God through Jesus Christ for this good report and for each one of you God knows how often I pray for you day and night I bring you and your needs in prayer to the one I serve with all my might telling others the good news about his son and one of the things I keep on praying for is the opportunity, God willing, to come at last to see you and, if possible, that I will have a safe trip. For I long to visit you so that I can impart to you the faith that will help your church grow strong in the Lord. Then, too, I need your help, for I want not only to share my faith with you, but to be encouragers, be encouragers by yours. Each of us will be a blessing to the other. I want you to know, dear brothers, that I planned to come many times before, but was prevented, so that I could work among you and see good results, just as I have among the other Gentile churches. For I owe a great debt to you and to everyone else, both the civilized people and uncivilized alike, yes, to the educated and uneducated alike. So to the fullest extent of my ability, I'm ready to come also to you in Rome to preach God's good news. For I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It is God's powerful method of bringing all who believe it to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. This message was preached first to the Jews alone, but now everyone is invited to come to God in the same way. This good news tells us that God makes us ready for heaven, makes us right in God's sight. When we put our faith and trust in Christ to save us, this is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scripture says it, the man who finds life will find it through trusting God. But God chose his anger from heaven against all sinful, evil men who pull away from the truth from them. For the truth about God is known to them instinctively. God has put this knowledge in their hearts. Since earliest of times, men have seen the earth and sky and all God made and have known of his existence in great eternal power. So then we'll have no excuse when they stand before God at judgment day. May God have mercy on their souls. My response to today's reading is that God did not need a hammer and nails. God created the world out of nothing. He created it from a point of vision, his vision. There was nothing there. God created it all. In seven days, he created the heavens and the earth and all that make up what we see today. He did not need a hammer and nails to put it together. He spoke it into existence. And for us, we have the good news of Jesus Christ to bring us to a point where our faith, knowledge, and wisdom passes that of this world's endless dribble that is full of sin and distraction. We must make time for God to come into our day and to take us on his path, for he has for us. 
It is a journey and not a destination. Our walk is based on faith. Faith is the substance. Hebrews 11.1 1. The, trans- the word transformation is used to describe what happens to us when the power of God falls upon us and awakens us. Yes, there is an awakening that takes place. And when we see what God sees, even if it is just a glimpse, we are changed. When we move towards sin, then the transformation of the Word of God will quicken us and tell us we are heading into muddy waters. As our faith increases, those thoughts and temptations will become easier and easier to defeat because we have put the Word of God in our hearts. There is specific action you must take to increase your faith. Read the Word daily. Study the Word daily. Pray for others daily. Love God above all else and talk to Him. Share your thoughts, desires, trials, and your temptations, and all that comes your way, and look to the Word for answers. All of life answers can be found within the Word of God, and within the time use that you spend with God. Let the Word of God transform you from who you were to what God desires for you. That path is filled with righteousness, love, compassion, wisdom, and freedom. God has a plan for each of us, but we must prepare ourselves and participate by giving God an open door to our heart in stealing away and hiding away His Word into our hearts, minds, and souls. There is mighty joy that's awaiting for you in Christ, an eternal joy, a lasting joy that can never be found in this world. The the happiness that is here is fleeting. It's fading away. It's filled with, with stuff. But joy that Christ brings is eternal. That happiness never leaves you no matter what your circumstances are. If you are not walking with the Lord and you want to, I ask you to call me and we can discuss the Word and how you can come to Christ and turn your life over to Him today and begin a renewing of your mind, a transformation of your mind, a transformation of your heart, and you can walk in a new direction that is righteous, that is good, that is filled with truth, that is filled with the love of Christ. My phone number's here, 617-284-3082. I don't care what time it is. Call me, and we can talk. This is from the Living Bible. You have a great day, and feel free to visit thewordofgodonline.com.